Okay, now we come back. So very quickly, we are going to be editing our cipher thing. So after I've gone through this um, part, the back end of this site, I understood clearly how to edit this thing very well. Understand that you could also do with anything you have. So and hence this is my dashboard. And um, on that note, I'm going to customize, you know, something you will see from my parents here, customize, you will see probably settings for the team, just like some other team you've seen before. This cipher, for example, you have team settings here. Team settings, just like we have the team settings for the previous team we, are, we used before now. So, this is it. It's not. You know, because that team and this other team, they are being built by the same company. So they have a number of things that makes them look very similar. Okay. So you can also walk around it in this in this way. You can also like go around it, do everything here. Yeah. And one of the things we notice here is the Mm, sliding, you don't find the slide here. This slide is located, you create the slide under pages. So, I haven't done that. For example, I uh, go back to my parents and customize. See how this whole thing will change in a moment. So, what I'm doing now very quickly is simple. And um, start identity. We don't have to walk around that now. Latest Nigerians in politics. In that manner. Menus. We have, remember, I walk around that menus. Widget. The widget we have now is different from what is obtainable. Recent post. We only have one widget in our home page here. Okay. So, static front page here. We only have latest post. So, we are changing it here to. Our front page should be what home and the home page I've created. Post page, now we leave that out of it. So our home page is going to change now. See that immediately our home page get out of Everything changed about our home page. So the moment I save and publish, the time I preview my site, everything has changed very immediately okay and you notice something watch here something is missing and for example that's our menu can't find the menu as a professional you know what's obtainable where do you go to you close you're done My goal is to make sure you are able to build, you know, in within a token of an eye, you have your website running already. This appearance, for example, where do you go to? Straight to menu. Even for training other people how to use this um, software, you make a lot of money. This straight to the menus now. You know how to customize your menu. So you realize that with your team, a whole lot of stuff are possible. So here you are. Money locations for your team. I'm sure it's a location that is not properly placed. Top menu location. Okay, that's top. Primary is main menu. Okay. Save changes. Alright. So let's go back to a this menu. So we have, um, let's see, home page, yeah, our home page, mm, this is our menu structure, let's see what we have here, you know, can always edit all this um, stuff we have here, all these, all these settings, you can always change it, as in to meet up, to fit up to what 
people really wanted. So these are menus. I remember how to drag all this menu. But this one is here. It goes under. This one goes as a sub menu. In different ways. So primary is a primary menu. Oh, let's add our home. This location here. Home should be up and about guy up there. Not a sub item. That's our home. And zoom. This is a mega menu. Home up there. So, it's a primary menu. You save. Uh, I may, oh, 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 editing. You have to create the home menu of this way. Okay. I shake it up this way. Okay, yeah, I was suspecting that anyway. Okay, look at it this way. I have to create this um, home. We create home on um, this location here. I'm going to create, oh, that's where we have our about us and privacy. Sorry. Okay, manage location. We are supposed to create another okay let's create our stop watch this very quickly um i didn't even save this anyway let's see that I'm not sure that's why there's another way you can actually create that to enable with us to make sure we have our men flying here very 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 important So we have our menu running on our, on our home pages. Eh? So, for example, that is done. And let us do something. Save menu. Create a new menu. Sorry. Let's create a new menu. Let's watch. Oh, we already have an existing menu before. You stop menu. Okay, okay. Let's manage. Top menu select. We're not creating. Top menu. Sorry. We are managing the stop menu. And what do we have there? We have a us and a privacy. Mm, home. Okay. Leave that about us and privacy. And let's manage location. Our top menu will be located where top menu navigation. So it's going to be a top menu for top menu navigation. Let's see that change. Change. Okay, let's see the changes we are there. And this menu again. So we can always go back and edit our main menu. I want to check something again. So you, you moment you implement anything, you go back to your um, page, and what do you do? You refresh to check what's obtainable immediately. Okay. If you notice my two pages are not coming up. The menu, 
Okay. Delete that. We're going to create a customized link here. Okay, the custom links to bring up our own page. Okay, let me do that in our next video to avoid this video before I'm going too long. Okay, please take note of this. We already changed your team here, for example. So your team is already altered. Okay. So the next thing uh, now is simple. Just like our recent post. If you notice, there is no footer. Footer is no longer obtainable here. Nothing is working here. Okay. So that's like an issue. So another way to bring all these things to life is through your customization or straight away you go to Cypher and check up your team settings. When you get the team settings, you see how all the um, body, header, the body, everything you want, how they have been positioned. That's very, very, very important. You need to note as in, for example, this uh, footer settings. We need this kind of footer we want. We may want it to be a footer widget. Yes, stand. When we do this now, it's going to show under our widget when we go to customization. Okay. Okay. So, header settings, display style, style to display site. Some teams, this may be where you are going to alter your menu. So, you need to get used to those settings about the team and realize that each team, you see, header, see what's obtainable now. Other top area settings. Top menu is already disabled there. So, notwithstanding what we actually decide to change at the menu settings, it will appear. Just stick. So, you go around and get used to that particular team. And per different project, you have different different team probably you work with. Okay. Main navigation settings, main settings, random article button, this one, work commands, for example. Enable the mobile menu. Breaking news. There is this. Um, I think we did something like that in the other team. Just it was obtainable here. Eh? So, breaking news, for example, enable. Show only on home page, for example. It says you fade. So, pick the categories where the breaking news should come from. So, it should be on what? That's the latest news. Okay. That's how it works. Okay, local top. So these are you set archive. We've done this before for the other team. So it may actually pick what's obtainable in the other team or something else. So you go back and post settings this page of the post. So you see that for our sidebars, is it to the right or to the left? Footer settings like we had the other time. Header settings, general settings. You go here. So by the time you are checking up your back end there, if you check my old one now, I have my old one news, old one of Ninja news. So I have their back end. So I'm actually giving you what X, as in what X means to understand effectively at work with any team, any team at all, any team. There's some teams, because you don't, if you don't obtain license for them, you may not be able to go to the back end and do all this manipulation. So most times there are certain teams that once you just go to the settings, once you are used to three, four, five teams, all that things become very easy for you. You just go around and get done with them. So for example, here now when I go to the Let's say menu. You stand. I go here and I get to my menus. I'm breaking this down to the most simplest format now. So you are looking at what is obtainable here at the menu here to implement. Most times you see that you create home with a custom link. I don't get that now. I told us we are going to be creating a custom link with our home. So the custom links, Odua.nigeria.ng. 
that's the URL. That means the moment that's and that's when you are going to see the whole menu stuff coming on board. You get so you look at all these things to get you to how to create a powerful website. You see, everything now they build it's just like being given an opportunity to go look at how his car was assembled. Just stand. So all you just have to do is gather the parts together and reassemble it. So you can always come here and see how they did it. You are not copying a page because none of this information is useful for the project you are working on. And what you do is you look at what they did, you go back there and see how you can even remodify it to get the best. So from there now, say, okay, this is my team here. I already enable that and make sure I make some changes. Changes made. I go back to my parents, go back to menus. Okay. So I'm not dealing with top menu now. I'm going to be dealing with main menu and select. So let me just create a custom links and not bother to do that in our next video. So HTTP as well. Remember, what was up anywhere? Remember, this is it. We are not copying this, we are doing your own. So then in Java, That's our URL, eh? navigation level home, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, link test, which is what our home. What do you do? Your heart. So you don't need this page. It's not this home for this page. Remember? Is a custom link. Bring this guy up. Just please drag it. Where is it? Boom. Custom link. Bring it in there. Okay. That's our home. Again, is a tangy. Okay. So, what do we do with this guy? We don't need it there. We've got them we wanted. It's a page. What do you do to that guy? You have to be removed very quickly. So, here you are. You save. Okay, save, 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 save. Thank you. So, immediately you refresh. That's why internet is key. Most times, but definitely actually have another video teaching us how we can actually do all these things off offline. Okay, so you have this guy here now about us privacy. Hop here, as in like that's a shame because we already enable that. So I'm going to go back to check if I need to enable these other menu too. And that's the business done. Okay, and that and that will be that will be all. Just like that, the moment we're able to like get our desktop in place, this my menu. Okay, I'm going to check that to ensure that everything is in top gear. We check that here. So basically, let me show this video so that can compile fast and get up. This is what this guy. So that's what the back end. So I have to check my. Okay. Mm 
pack in or I've closed that already. Mm. From there, go to your dashboard very quickly. Yes, so that'll be all for this video. I'm sick. I'm going to show us how I get this put here right as I'm going to show us right away in one of the other videos, probably for the plugins, as I'll just add it on. So see you in the next video. Thank you.